Hello, what's up everybody? My name is Carlos with Chocolate Pins On, RTRVI. Welcome to my channel, Lazy Bones Radiology. My goal for this channel is to help you learn and understand the material so you can be ready for your big day. I'm going to be teaching you the same way that I studied for both of my registries. So, obviously, I will not say anything that was on my registries, so let's get that out of the way. I hope you're ready to learn and ready to take lots of notes. Before we begin, don't forget to press that like button and subscribe to the channel and share with your friends so we can all learn together. Let's begin. Episode 1, The Anatomical Relationship Terminology. In the medical field, orientation is key. For example, if you are invited to a party but didn't have the address, you'll have a difficult time there getting there. That's why knowing where or what you're looking for is very important. This brings us to our first term, the anatomical position. This is a picture of the anatomical position. By definition, this is when a patient stands erect with the face and eyes forward, arms are extended by the sides, the palms of the hand are facing forward, heels are together, and the toes are pointing forward. In simpler terms, this is known as the neutral position. Know this and be familiar with this position because this is the basis of our field. Now we'll move on to the anatomical relationship terms. These are specific terminologies that are commonly used in the medical field to describe the relationship of the part of the body in relation to the anatomical position. We as technologists must be familiar with these terms because we'll be using them throughout your career and it allows you to communicate with more accuracy and precision. The following definitions were gathered from Merrill's Atlas of Radiographic Positioning and Procedures. This is the series that I used when I was a student, so I highly recommend it. Anterior. This refers to the forward or the front part of the body or the forward part of part. So, the anterior surface or the front part of the body is known as the anterior surface. And if you're talking about a body part, for example, the arm, the front part of it is known as the anterior surface. Posterior is the opposite. This refers to the back part of the body or the part. Caudal. This refers to parts away from the head or towards the feet. So as you go towards the body and away from the head towards the feet is more caudal. Cephalide or cephalic refers to parts towards the head of the body. So as you go towards the body and getting closer to the head, you're more cephalic or cephalide. Inferior. This refers to below or down towards the feet. So this time we're within the body and going away from the head towards the feet. This is a more inferior relationship. Superior is the opposite. This refers to above or near the head of the body. So as we travel up the body, within the body, towards the head, we're more in a superior relationship. Central refers to the middle or area or the main part of interest. So here's a line indicating the central part of the body. As we go towards that center, we're more central. So if we're talking about a body part, the Main part of interest, the, the closer you are, the more central you are. Peripheral is just the opposite. This refers to the part at or near the surface edge or the outside of another body part. So as you go away from it, it's more peripheral. So the arms are more peripheral than the torso of the body. And if we're talking about a body part, if you're away from the central part, the more peripheral you are. Lateral. This refers to parts away from the midline or another body part to the right or left. So here's our central line. If you're going away from the midline on the left side, this is known as your left lateral side. And the opposite, the right lateral side. So going away from the midline is known as lateral. Medial, you're going towards the center. This refers to parts towards the midplane of the body or towards the middle part of, of the part of interest. 
So if you go towards the center or the middle part of interest, you're more medial. Contralateral, this is a unique form of lateral. This refers to parts on the opposite side of the body. So, for example, if you get hit on your left hand side, but you break your right ribs and your right leg, this is known as the contralateral side of the impact, or the opposite side. Ipsilateral refers to the part or parts on the same side of the body. So going back to our example, if you get hit on the left hand side, but you break your left ribs and your left leg, this is known as the ipsilateral side, or the same side of the impact. It's very important not to confuse these two laterals. Contralateral is opposite, ipsilateral is the same side. Deep. This refers to parts away from the surface or the skin. So, as you can see here in the picture, the closer you are to the bone, the more deeper relationship you are. Superficial refers to parts near the skin or surface. So, as you go away from the bone, towards the skin, the more superficial relationship you are to the part. Distal. This refers to parts furthest away from the point of attachment, point of reference, origin, or beginning away from the center of the body. So here's a, an example. Here's my two points of interest. As I go away from them, this is known as distal. So you're more further away from the point of reference. Proximal. This refers to parts near the point of attachment, point of reference, origin, or beginning towards the center of the body. So here's my two points of reference. As I move towards that point of reference, you are more proximal. So distal is away, proximal is getting closer. External. This refers to parts outside of an organ or outside of the body. So here's my, my heart. Anything outside of that organ is more of an external relationship. So anything outside of the body is more external. Internal is just the opposite. It refers to parts within an organ or within the body. So as you go inside towards the center, you're, you have more, a more re internal relationship. Parietal, this refers to the outside wall membrane around a body cavity. So the, the heart is an important organ that has a parietal wall that protects it from the outside membranes of the body cavity. Visceral refers to the covering membrane of the organ itself. So not to get it confused, visceral is a more intimate membrane that covers the organ itself. Parietal is more like a protective wall that protects from it from the outside. Dorsum. This refers to the top or the anterior surface of the foot or the posterior surface of the hand. So the top part of your foot is known as the dorsum and the posterior part of the hand is known as the dorsal part of the hand. Palmer refers to the palm of the hand or the palmar region of the hand. So the anterior surface of the hand is known as the palmar region. Plantar refers to the soles of the feet or the bottom of the feet. I know this looks like a lot, but try to use these words throughout your day and you'll be a pro in no time. The more you practice these words, the more you'll be familiarized with them. So when you hear them in a clinical setting, you'll be ready for them. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to press that like button and share with your friends and also subscribe to the channel. You can also follow me on lazybones underscore radiology. Thank you. You guys have a great day.